this is a, a game we're real pleased to um, to get a victory over Creighton. Uh, obviously, this is a team that uh, is very proficient at shooting the three. They've got a, a really disciplined, unique um, system that they bring to the floor, a little bit like Iowa State, and uh, they're just extremely confident and um, very well coached at what they do. And I thought tonight we um, handled. Um, by and large, what they brought to the floor uh, very well. Obviously, Herring had a tremendous night for them, and um, I, I think she's a, a very, very fine player. Uh, she's going to have a great next two years of her career. Um, I think if we had defended her better, the game would have uh, played out just a little bit different. Ashley, I thought, did a tremendous job defending her on the night um, once we finally made that, that adjustment. And um, so another victory and just uh, another quality win against an opponent that has played a schedule that looks very much like a uh, Big 12 conference schedule in their non-conference. I mean, it's amazing how tough of a non-conference slate that they've had. And um, they are a very good team, very, very well coached. And I look for them to be outstanding in the Missouri Valley Conference season. Start 5-13-2? Well, I, I, I didn't feel as though we um, started the game with a, a lot of productive energy, you know. Um, and defensively, we were pretty passive. Uh, I don't think we intended to be. I think we were, were, we were trying to, uh, you know, trying to play hard, but we were very slow to get going, obviously, and they were very aggressive. Uh, we were ineffective on the offensive end of the floor early, played with some tentativeness, and uh, it just took us a little while to really come into our own on the offensive end of the floor um, as a unit, and um, that's, again, what preseason basketball, sometimes playing opponents you're not accustomed to. We're going to see a lot of defensive looks because of um, Lenning, and it uh, took us a little while to kind of get our rhythm tonight. It's part of the game plan, pushing it inside because they weren't terribly physical down there with, you know, pushing it down to Ashley and Marlies. Well, I felt like we had um, an advantage there at some point in time in the game. Um, I felt like our, our best basketball really was just moving the ball and, and you know, finding our post when, um, you know, when opportunities arose. I, I felt like when we were looking for a specific option. We, we weren't very good um, in our offense early in the game, and eventually that loosened up a little bit. But um, we certainly had an advantage there, and I thought, by and large, even when you look at the stats sheet, you'll see that Marlies and Ashley were tremendous for us tonight. Took to the second half at the 13-31 mark. Can Kay, does she practice those shots? Well, you know, we don't really let her practice a lot in our gym, but we all understand she has that kind of range. And um, I know I about have a heart attack anytime she passes up a shot. I have that much confidence in her ability to drop them down. And, um, I, I didn't feel stress at all at the fact that she was taking a shot from that distance. And as soon as it left her hand, I, I felt it was a make. And she really does have that kind of range in a open shot scenario. She is that that kind of a three-point shooter. And then Ashley scored the next nine points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ashley really stepped up. Um, we needed to um, find a solution down the stretch, you know, something that we could go to. And, and she made not just great plays off the catch, but she got herself open well, had good timing, and, and then went to the uh, glass um, with an aggressive disposition and one that allowed her to uh, to draw contact and to get to the foul line and um, just had an overall really good night on both ends of the floor for us.